Hi everybody, so Mr. Hu here. So by popular demand, I'm making a quick demo on how to add squash and stretch to your bouncing ball uh, inside Maya. So here we have a, um, a bounce cycle of your ball. Let's play it down. Okay, so it's got you know all the things you want in a generic bouncing ball. It's going up and down. Um, it's got contact. So at frame 9 is when it touch the ground, and also it's got some hang time in the air. You should always have to try to have some hang time in the air. Uh, I mean, it's just good for having like some texture to your um, animation. But here, right, so if you look at the ball, right, it's not, it doesn't have any squats and stretch, and that's what we're trying to add in here. So it's really simple. Um, to add a squats and stretch, you basically play with the scale X, Y, Z. Uh, in a ball, um, so you know in 3D you have your scale right. Y is this up and down. X is the red one sideways, and Z is this. So by you know by scaling some of these up and down in combination, uh, you can get nice effects of. Uh, so let's say you you want to scale something, you want to achieve like a a stretch frame right. What you do, you just stretch up the Y, and at the same time, you also scale down the, the, the Z and X. You do that by holding Control and then holding and then dragging down Y. It's basically reverse. It it would uh, when you hold Control and you do scale, it would uh, scale down anything that's not selected. Uh, in this case, I'm I'm not selecting um, X and Z. So that would be your. Um, your uh, stretch frame, uh, zeroing rack to one one one. Okay, now I want to do if I want to do a um, squash frame, I will sc uh, scale down Y, and at the same time I will scale up um, X and Z. So I would do that holding Control. That would be my squash frame. All right, so let's apply that to the bouncing ball animation. Uh, let's do the squash first because we know exactly where it is. It's right here in the contact frame. So here, keep uh, paying attention to do that. Uh, it doesn't have to be like exact number. Just do whatever looks good to you. All right. So although you do still want to keep the volume of the ball, you want to make sure that you know um, that uh, your squash and stretch frame doesn't look too too wild compared to you know like a normal ball. Uh, imagine this being like a water balloon, and you squash it down, but you still have to, you still keep the same amount of water in the inside. So now that we did the squash thing, right? That's good. But notice how you know the because I I scaled down the Y, so now it's no longer touching the ground. So you have to go in and adjust that to make sure that it's still touching the ground. And that would be our squash thing now. You don't. This is. Uh, you don't want your squash frame to to have any like you know interpolation between it for the computer. If you leave it to the computer, it, it's just gonna do like an average of between the two frames, the two the, the two keys. So here, because I'm I have one key here at frame seven and another key at frame nine. Um, so in the middle of at frame eight, it's the computer just just gonna think okay, I'm just going to like average out everything out. So that's what you don't want. So here, set it back to one. That way, it only squashes on that one frame. Same for the other side. I want to go back up, go to one, and that is our squash. Now we want to add some stretch to it. Uh, I usually like to just add at the stretch like one frame before the contact, so right before the uh, squash, so on this frame. Um, scale Y, scale up Y, scale down the other two. Um, maybe I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, so it's more snappy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, looks, looks okay. Not terrible, but just a quick demo. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing for the reverse. Scale Y, scale down X and Z. Um, I want to make sure that it's coming down a little bit more. So normal ball, 
stretch, squash, stretch, no more wall. And that's how you do squash and stretch in uh, Maya.